We rolling? They see me rolling. We back here, about to play Milo West for you at home. They see me rolling. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Milo West today, getting ready for the Beaver State Fling. We are playing this course on Saturday. Yeah. If you haven't yet seen our battle against Thomas and Nate, we played the East course with them. We played Smo that. Smoked them. No spoilers, but we smoked them. It's tough, man. It's a tough one. We played that course on Friday and Sunday. Sunday live coverage. Oh, yeah. So tune into the Disc Golf what's Network. The, uh, what's the, I was going to ask, what, what is the app? How can you watch that? Disc Golf Network. Okay. Tune into that. But we're going to run through this course today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I do have a wrinkle. I have a wrinkle today that I think... Yeah, you, you have a wrinkle. You're old. <laughs> that I think you're, you're going to enjoy. And the people at home are going to enjoy Heck as well. Heck yeah. Let's run through it. <laughs> Hole one, 630 feet. The first shot, I believe you just kind of want to puncture something through the gap. You don't necessarily actually have to get that far left. Okay. Just kind of out the gap. You mean here. okay? You played this hole. <laughs> yeah, one this time. Is a, this is a little. I was knocked uh, out. <laughs> I was gonna say this is a little bit different than our other practice rounds because we've actually played this course. Kind of. Kind of. So we kind of know a little bit of what to do. I'm gonna do two different plays. I'm gonna Look go. This. this is a new one. Hopefully it's the, stable. Uh, ESP, yeah. Yeah, hopefully it's cool. stable. I'm gonna go Votorious through the middle, and then I'm gonna do like a stable, straight kind of nuke through the middle, and see which one. Works. Oh, it's stable. That's fine. That's great. Inside gap's okay. I'm okay See, with that. the only tr I think the only scary thing that was Onyx. Yeah. I think the only scary thing with the inside gap is if you go like high speed. High speed can skip. You OB. might get the skip, but I don't know. Are they gonna cut the grass? If they cut the grass, that's I just feel like it grows so fast with all the rain. It's like they could cut it. They could cut it today, tomorrow morning. This tall guy. What, are you an aerogonomist now? Yes, I am. What is that? What are they called? The greens people? The grass people? You know. The grass uh, people? Aerogonomist? They're, uh, uh, you can go to school for it. Like, if you want to be like a super on the golf course. Aerogonomist. Nope. I don't think that's it. I have no idea. Ooh. Are you trying to go for that? I'm not. Gap? I'm not. Those are the full to tools today. I'm shanking them. Uh, real quick, too. We are doing a free shipping only this week. Use promo code MILO, M I L O, to get free shipping when you shop at foundationdisc.com. You're welcome. All right, second shot here. You've got OB Road left with a curb. So that's going to definitely come into play if you do throw low. And you're going to have a lot of people trying to go low, clearly, because there is a ceiling. The interesting thing, I obviously didn't play this tournament. Did you play this tournament ever? No. You've just been out here and played like randomly? Well, because like I would have played last year, but they had like damage, so they didn't have a tournament. No, I know that, but I'm saying you've played out here before. Yep. But that was just casual? Yep. Okay. So when I was watching coverage, they didn't have that fence around the tree. So that's going to be an interesting play. I think that's definitely going to bone some people. Just go Tomahawk zone on top? Or? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> We're probably like 330 out from here. Just going with a straight buzz. Don't bone me. Don't bone me. I'll bone you whenever I want. Uh. <laughs> I might be going to an all pink bag. I might be going all pink, dude. We met a guy like that up in Wisconsin. He was all pink? Every single disc in his bag was pink. Putters too. Everything. Wow. This is That's... ideal. This is like dreamland. So this dude, is like, if you don't get up and down from here, you are trash. Pretty trash, yeah, pretty trash. I think it'd actually be kind of difficult to get this Onyx to go OB left. You should not throw a nuke. After no. us both throwing fairly well, and drivers. nuke could actually go too long to where I'm pinched and don't have like an right, you're not shot, that big, so. you're not that big. I'm huge! You're not that big. Calm, calm yourself. I'm down. 70 feet past you, man. I hit the limb! Did I not hit? Sounds like a trash shot no, to No, I me. definitely hit a limb. I hit a limb. I'll tell myself. Keep telling that. yourself that, man. I'll, I'll tell myself that. Oh, Prez, what's up, man? Oh, hey. <laughs> you're gonna go out on a limb and say you hit a limb? That's what you're doing. You're, you're standing <laughs> on a limb right now. <laughs> I'm about to use one. I hope of, I fall off. I'm gonna I hope use, I fall I'm off. Gonna, I'm gonna use that banana. Have you seen that TikTok of the banana? Close the quals down. Have you seen the TikTok of the banana person with no. the knife that they have? No. It's like a, a seven, eight foot stick, and on the end is like a machete knife. Okay. And the thing, like, they he can literally just chop a tree down, just like with, yeah. 
So I'm going to have you stand out on a limb, nice. and then I'm going to chop the tree down with a banana knife cutter. I don't know the name of it, but I want one. Uh, are you talking about a sigh, Brody? Is it a sigh? Oh my god. No, but he's not an agronomist. He's not an agronomist. No, this one's like an extra long sigh. I think it's still a sigh. Yeah, that's a sigh. Yeah, that's a long 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 sigh. So I threw my dive from the and it was a finicky distance. Yep. Hole number two, deuces. Uh, we got a 630 foot pole four. We got a big dog leg left. We got like a, it's a power hydro tee shot. I'm going full on nuke probably. And then a little upshot into one of the coolest greens on the course. Yeah, I think. This, this is really it's a really, special, special. It's like a little, it's like a little hovel. This is one of Nate's. Elevated basket. Sexton said this is one of his favorite holes on this course. It's a cool hole, so, man. It's a very cool hole. Aragonomist. No, I think it's agronomist. 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 Definitely an NPC. Yeah. Little left side, maybe? Are you listening for chains? Yeah, just in case, man. I'm trying to get an albatross out here. Oh, look at me, I like to throw forces. I like to throw fuller than you. That's all I care about. That's definitely not for I know, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, that's good too. Tip of the cap. New segment, so I posted on Twitter asking, do you guys have any questions for me and Ezra? So we might, if you guys like this, we might add this into the regimen. Let's go with pain. Ackerson. He asks, how can I get more distance on my turnover shots, specifically with mid-range discs? Biggest thing for me on turnover shots is making sure the nose angle's down. I think it's really easy whenever, to, whenever you want to throw an Anheuser on is to get the nose up and have it just stall out and not go anywhere. So you can really focus on keeping that wrist pointed down and getting the nose angle down on those turnover shots. Get the nose angle to actually get down as it turns. It'll actually glide forward and to the right, and you'll get a lot more distance. Let us know if you guys like this segment. We'll keep doing it, and uh, we'll answer a couple more later on. Why risk going too far here? Well, it's so short, right? You'd rather be in the middle of the fairway, you 50 be, feet back. You can even be back there. And have yeah. a shot versus being this far up, but actually pinch off and stuff. Yeah. But as you can see, we've got this nice little hovel green. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to double down, man. I have to. You want me to tell you the secret, Calvin? I'm going big or going home. You, you want me to tell you the secret Calvin told me today? What is that? With this hole? Left side, the hill, pretty nice. So you can just blast something oh. in left side and it won't go far. Versus Calvin, trying to throw like a, touchy, like a touchy shot in there. Yeah, because right side's pretty golden. Right side's not good, yeah. But you're not gonna get a big skip left. Oh boy. <laughs> the hobble got me again. That was nice. Grazie, grazie. Yeah. Just work it in there, right to left. This is how we do it. Oh, it's Sasquatch. I thought I made it. Count <laughs> I know it's getting bleeped, but I love it. You, you hate to see this, dude. You hate, what this? You hate to see this. I do hate to I do That's it. double birdies. I That's I double it. birdies. He got an albatross. They thought it wasn't possible. He got I an albatross. Literally, was standing behind both my lies. That might be a first. Come on, man. Cash it. Johnny Cash. There you go. Hole three. Longest one. This. Oh no. Two eighty-five. Don't get ahead of yourself, man. Not oh. the whole. This isn't the no whole. No spoilers. No I'm just, spoilers. I'm just. I'm just so excited. Two eighty-five, and I just can't hide it. I could see. I could see people trying this. That's a skill shot. That's, I, a, that's a skill route. I don't think you're going to see them on coverage. Okay. If, if they are, they're, they're, so if you want, okay, so that's, that's good. No, so that's good. If you want to see that shot taken in the tournament, got to come out, buy, get your tickets, yeah. come out to the BLC thing live. You're come not, out really, come out really You're old. not seeing that. Come out really old in the morning and see some, some cool lines. The, the majority, hopefully, hopefully not Brody and I. The majority of people are going to be throwing either this big high kind of Annie turnover putter shot. Do you like that shot? I think that's probably the shot to that's give you shot. closest to the basket. However, 
with the shape of the hole and with the spin of the disc, if it yeah. does hit a tree, it could just go so far left. Mm -hmm. So I think I like the cap wrap forehand like Spike Heiser. We're also contractually ob obligated to throw these discs. You still don't have the... Man, I don't have... Man. I'm not on the team. <laughs> I'm trying to, that's why I'm kissing Bartek like Paul Ulibar. I'm trying to get on the team. That's okay, though. But that kick was nice. Yeah. That kick was gentle. That's okay. Because, like, honestly, if this kicks anywhere off, kicks left side of the tree, it should just kind of go up and then fall. Right side, straight down. For me, I would probably go turnover backhand if there was, if those two trees late in the fairway weren't there. Because oh, yeah. then it's like when you actually do hit it, you're going to be rewarded. Where right now, you could still kind of be screwed. That's, uh, yeah, that's the one so miss. That, but even there, like, you should get up and down. That kick was still, like, a lot better than a backhand kick. You should get up and down. I'm going to try the backhand mug. See ya. Oh, oh, that was a good kick. But even that. No, that's not a good like kick. That kick's right I, side. That's, I, the, that's the good side to kick on with the backhand. Yeah, I that's don't. still in a bad spot. I don't think that's a good spot. You got to get around this first tree, brother. I got to get off this quals, dude. I just... I'm gonna go higher because I think I wonder if the gap's bigger higher. You're also so far right now, though. You know. Nice. That's a putt. Let's go. Like if I'm actually trying to make it. That's nasty. Just I feel little, like I haven't been aggressive enough on my up shots. Just a, just a little, little ultimate shot? I feel like inside of 200 feet, I feel like I haven't been aggressive enough. Like, I think you have to be a little bit more aggressive. Well, I feel like I'm a lot better at poking it when I try to, like, go for the basket. Because if I try to poke it, I aim at the base, and then I end up, like, 50 feet short. Mm. Yeah. So I'm trying to, like, float it in there and get, like, but I think, like chain high, and then just have the right speed. But if you're more aggressive, I think, like, one out of every 20 or 30, you're going to make. Yeah. You gotta be you gotta be confident in the putt though. You have to be confident in the come back home. Are you going back to your uh, nose down? Yeah. These are nose down putts? Yep. Do you wanna like identify to the to the camera? So guys, I'm going a little nose nose down putt? I don't want to actually. Right. Yeah, I do. I think what happened was I was switched to like a nose up or like a full, like a straight up putt because of the wind. The last like two months, and I used to put more nose down. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go back to a little bit more of a nose down putt. Mm. All right. I'm sticking back. I'm going back to the flat. That, well, that's gonna be your miss. But the thing is, I just feel like when I putt a little bit nose down, I'm way more accurate left to right, and then I kind of only miss low, and I can just jam it. And uh, not yeah. have to worry about the not to worry about it going long because if I miss the basket completely, then it's so nose down that it's kind of stops 20 feet down. This is the albatross hole. <laughs> so, this is the hole you can actually get an albatross on. Hole four, 175. Longest hole on disc, long, longest hole on tour. You can literally see it right there in front of you. I like to play um, like a stable zone, not too terribly stable, but I like to play more like a flex because I think it pulls me off of these early trees. And then also, if I do end up hitting something, I'm less likely for it to fly because there's a cliff. There's a cliff. Yeah, I've, been, yeah. I've been down now. I yeah. yanked that, and that's still a putt. I think there is a little bit of left to right wind ripping through here. Yeah. So, just coming off that cliff. Coming off that cliff. I think that's why you're seeing. I, Wait, no, why did you throw I your hands up? I, I threw just, it perfect. I, I threw it perfect, but the wind just pulled it, man. <laughs> I told that, the thermal's coming off that cliff just I know, yanked but you I right straight out, of my, straight out of my hand. That's, why, of my hand. that's why I told you. I literally just told you that. That's why they pay me the big bucks to be your caddy, man. Oh, now he's talking about how much money he makes. Great. Wait, thermals. Oh, yeah. All right, the, the wind is left to right here. Uh, that's so... Oh, wait. Oh, go in. Should we try ace one? I tried, <laughs> I tried to ace both those. Oh, did you? <laughs> no. I was just trying to park it. That was a good bid, though. Metal. Canadian ace. Everyone owes me a dollar.
Sometimes when you just like make 15 footers, it feels good. It feels more confident. It than feels that. great. Does time inflate with time? With time, does time inflate? I don't know. This is one well, of the 420 feet. One of the harder birdies on the whole course. Wow, this plays so much longer than 420. Does it not? Yeah, I, I mean, you're, it plays like two. I'm like, throwing like a 500 foot shot, but I'm throwing it's it into it's the ground. downhill. But you're, you're, you have to you throw no it glide. into the no ground. Glide. Yeah, no glide. Dude, I'm going to have that shirt very soon. It's coming in. Glide isn't real. Glide is a lie. Glide is a lie. It's coming glide soon. Glide is a lie. Stay tuned. Glide is a lie. But yeah, you basically want to juice something low, just right of those two trees, and hopefully skip straight. I will say, I have thrown a roller to inside a circle. I feel like you've also thrown roll balls to yes. 900 feet away. Yes. So it, it's kind of risky. It is a very like, you're either going for it or you're not. Oh no, dude, you're still rolling on this hole. I mean, that's not a bad one for me to try to figure out how to get up and down. That was like such a weird throw. Because I think the super stable does that. Hit the tree? Oh. No, just like, it, it's so hard to keep it low and straight if you're throwing super Because you're thinking we want to go right gap. Yes, you want to go right gap if you're trying to birdie it. So I'm thinking I actually want to go or it's like maybe a stable flex more. Because I feel like you need to keep go it low. Back out. I don't know. Yeah, no, you do need to. This is probably a bit of a bonus body. No, it's, it's the hardest birdie on the course. Oh. Like, I think that actually might putt. But I'm going to try one where I like kind of flex it over. Yeah. Get a straight skip. Oh, no skip. A little bit of Annie. That's gonna be great. The That's thing though is if you're left, 30 or 40 feet, you might not have a putt at all. Right. The right side is way open, so that's why I think you do realistically want to get right of those trees, but it's very hard to do that, obviously. Oh, baby, do it. Yeah, that's the shot. That's like 20 feet. It's in the bag, the baby. Flight. The shot's in the bag. Great shot. Wow, the softest, the softest wasn't away. Can he do it? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's a backside putt. I'll say this. Yeah. I think this is a phenomenal green. Because really? if you hear me out. Wow. If you're left. I, I would, I am shocked. If you're left, yeah. you're boned. Yeah. So you know off the tee. A lot of boning in this video. You know that off the tee. It's a PG channel. You know that off the tee. That's tea. true. Yeah. So if you end up going left and you're like, oh man, I don't have a putt, that's on you. Right. So I like that you like have to be on the right hand side. Because if you end up left of the basket, you probably hit the left gap on accident. Anyway. And, and then I also like too, like now this like if there don't. was nothing in your way right now, it would be an automatic. But now you have to throw like an uncomfortable putt. I like the I like the fact that the left side is is you're boned. <laughs> I like that fact. I don't like his bushes. I would say to clean his bushes up. Because I think from, if, I feel a great, I feel like a pulver tee shot. And that, that tee shot's super tough. And now I've got like these finicky bushes in my way that I have to go through. We're not always tall. Oh, I didn't realize the know? bushes. Yeah. The, I don't like so the I think that's the only thing I would no, change. I, I, I like the tree. I like the tree. The tree's good. Yeah. The tree's good because I have to like pick a side. I mean, Plus you're going to have, the, the thing that's tough with this is like you have to have this shot and, and like you don't have that shot. So like that's the tough. I just I wish someone else, like I wish someone else would edit this video so they can edit, edit you missing that and stuff. Like that's that's what's gonna be really tough. That was so cold. <laughs> I gotta say that. Can I even put this down? I feel like no. I feel like my career's over. This is a lose lose no matter what you do. Nice. There you go. Wait 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> oh I didn't par. Should have flicked it, man. Should have four out of it. I didn't par from here. If I had a mulligan putt, I would have parred. So yeah, you definitely have to hit the first gap or it's pretty tough to par. This is the famous Philo hole, oh. the albatross. So if you haven't seen that, I'll run the clip right now. I think it might be the last time we ever see a, an albatross on live coverage. Um, I don't think so. Comment below. I think it'll happen again. I don't think. I it's think it's gonna happen right now. <laughs> I think one of us is gonna make one. 
I think uh, we're gonna ace, we're gonna ace this hole right now. You can't albatross this hole anymore because they've made it a par four this year. Still 850 feet. If we are gonna say the last hole is one of the harder birdies, this one probably is up there as well. Especially we're playing into a little bit of a stiff headwind right now. So the, this qual, I feel like both of these quals are like a lot of muskets and a lot of bonus bonies. So it's like I don't really that see that not, many guns out here. I really don't. You don't see many guns? No, not what? a lot of muskets out here. Oh, that was nice. I mean, it's going stable nuke. You do want to try to get on the left-hand side of the fairway, but two left and you're... You're boned. Boned. You're boned, yeah. I mean, you might not want to throw Ezra, because, like, that's really far. I think I, I, think I, I, think I can throw a ball, though. Ooh, I I waffle? Full waffle or pancake? Yeah. All right. Win. All right, I'm going to throw it that Win. way. Win. With the long shot, just, the, just in the wrong direction. Oh, I love that. Was like the classic, like you'd be underneath the basket, like looking full court this way. You're like, five bucks says I make this, and they're like, no way. And you're like, <laughs> you just like shoot a layup. That was my go-to. <laughs> Such a funny guy. I loved it. So many pranks. That was his hustle in middle school. Yeah, that's I made a lot of money. I feel like that was his, his hustle like four years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did that yesterday. <laughs> Wow, the wind just died. I don't know. It's gonna be close. You gotta make I think skip. it's you, honestly. You had more height. Uh, also, shout out to Pack X for not even trying to Yikes. make a different <laughs> logo than the FedEx logo. <laughs> Literally identical. Got all the originality. <laughs> Got all the creativity. This is a debate. This is a great debate. This is a debate. This is a great debate. Who technically threw it further? Because T to green, T to disc. T to disc. Yeah. Ezra threw it further. Right. But I'm closer to the basket. Are you? Yeah. What? That's why there's a debate. Why would there not? Are you closer to the basket, though? Yes. That's the only way that there's a debate. No. The basket's over there. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I don't know. If, I actually don't know if you are closer. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the pancake. Thanks, I'll man. give you the pancake. Yes. Also, it's definitely who th followed off from the T is what matters. Okay, you literally just saw Philo albatross this hole because it's not cockfighted. And it's a, it's a big it's a big turnover backhand probably nuke honestly. I think it's that. No, oh, no I, I was way back there. I could do. Yeah, I think also too. Hear me out on this. I think we want to go flippier, but oh. high. So like my thought is like it's kind of well for me at least. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a huge like I'm not great at angle control like on super overstable stuff. So for me, I think flippier high is better because it'll turn and then it'll be so high that it, it eventually fades. stalls and this drops. Okay. But I think for you, you're better at the-, the I'm gonna try a little more stable. I think you're better at that shot. Could be. I don't think it's hot enough. No, not enough turn. Two, two flip. That's been a really bad tree. I actually kind of got over on that one. You more. did. I kind of brought it down low to like. Right. Proud of you, man. Thank you. That might be it. That looks great. That might be it. Uh, it's so high. I, I love it. That's probably great. Oh no, yeah, you did hit something, but. Yeah, this is this is one where I think it's like, you if you get a three, you're really good at disc golf. If you get a two, you're a legend. You are. Yeah. Is he more of a playing legend or a broadcast legend? Ooh. 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 That, that, that's playing. a good debate. No, playing legend because he's still he's still broadcast. Yeah, because he's like a, he's, he's, a, he, he, oh. he's a broadcast icon. Oh. He's not a Charles Barkley left. <laughs> nice dude. He's like I, I would say Charles Barkley is bigger as a like commentator influencer than he yeah. was as a basketball player. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But that man like, is hilarious. I think Fowl will get to that point. I think Fowl could. He yeah. actually. For sure. He's probably close to that point now. It's whenever he retires, he'll probably get to that point. Yeah. Are you in a really bad spot there? You got me? I got you. I got clipped right away. Hmm. I'm out. Throw in distance. Third time, baby. Too bad as he had to start putting. I only got the end of it. Hey, people know. 
People know where I was. Yep. Where they were. People Pe will remember people where People know they it was. Were. People know it was photoshopped. People will remember that shot for eternity. How do I get? How do I get color? How do I like draw? Oh, that? No, 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 no. That. Wait. That. Oh, draw. draw. Okay. Gosh, they've. He's a social media guy. <laughs> I don't know what help. No, me. they've added so much stuff. They have added a lot. You're blowing my mind right now. That's cool. You gotta show the camera. That's cool. Who thought? Who would have thought? Brody. Wait, this is not cool. The, people have seen that before. I always just like change the background thing. Of the I text. do that. Well, but that's certain cool. texts, certain texts, you can't do the background. Thing. Oh right. So if I want to use that text, yeah, that, specifically, that makes it pop. Yeah. So you can actually read it. So yeah. Use use code Milo free shipping foundationdiscs.com. Discs.com. You can get all kinds of discs, kind of like this one. We're gonna do a couple more questions as Maybe well. Maybe has a question. What do you have? What do you have, Jude? You, oh my gosh, putting me on the spot. Yeah. I haven't thought of it yet. Okay, you time. can think about that, and when you're watching this at home, let us know your questions down below, and we'll pick some to answer in the next practice round video as well. This is a good one from Carlo. He wants to know, this is at Carlo Riano. More like truck high. <laughs> how, do you, how do each of you handle your nerves while playing a tournament? Are there any mental or physical routines you guys do in order to help calm the nerves? I actually kind of welcome the nerves a little bit. Cause I, I don't know, life's so boring. So it's like, it's kind of nice to feel some nerves on the course, you know, get in those high pressure situations and feel the adrenaline. So I kind of like it. And then I kind of, I like to tell myself that too. So when I get in those situations, I use it more as, as, a, as a positive experience than a negative one. It means that I care about what I'm doing. So I kind of, I kind of like the nerves. And I think too, everyone's going to get it obviously. Yeah. So a way to kind of help is I think breathing for sure. Yep, like make sure to breathe and, and take some deep breaths, but also stick your, to your routine. Folks, you on, it, yeah. Yeah, if you have like a putt, especially with putting or whatever, if you have a routine, you should have one if you don't, mm. but like stick to it, because then that way you kind of get to a comfortable spot it puts your in an uncomfortable situation. Of, yeah, for yeah. Sure. so that'll help you. Hole seven, 587, par four, a pretty good one. They call this the landing strip, mainly because obviously it looks like an airplane landing strip. Do they call it that? Yeah, yeah. I, I watched a lot of covers, man. I took a lot of notes. <laughs> he does take a lot of notes. You got Obi right, Obi left. Brrr, nuke, ready for takeoff. Well, no, ready for landing. I guess take off, take off now and then land over. Whatever. Wow, you got really aggressive. You said blast it. Why'd you get so aggressive? That's so I want to fall than you. Man. I felt like you were like anti movement guy. That now, that now you love like, throwing these like. That puts up a lot more. <laughs> you're like a huge like. I love a lot of movement. Uh, there's a lot a lot of headwind. That's great. I like that. I don't really have anything else. You know, it's pretty like, pretty, pretty straightforward lost, shot. I lost my good nuke. You uh, do that one. I have to throw falls. Looks way better. That's what my old nuke would do, but I lost it, man. Really? That black one's not nearly as stable? Not nearly as stable. Dang. What do you have to say, what do you have to say about that, Ozzy? <laughs> oh, it sucks, man. Shoot. Hey, some people don't really care about the size, you know what I'm saying? The Sean Watson situation. Drop. So any OB is Did drop you zone? <laughs> do I have to go drop zone now? <laughs> I think on the tee shot. What was that? Are you, are, you going, are you going back? Yeah. Are you going back to like the full arm? I don't know what I did there. I don't want to. Oh, that was good. I think the low ceiling gave me juice it. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. So down. I mean, you're 25 feet. Nose down. Here's a nose down. You missed it, buddy. Here's a nose up. Oh. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> a little floater. So we have a very, like I, I was saying. Like I don't I was, understand this. Like hole. I was saying, a lot of holes are bonus bodies. A lot of holes are kind of gimmies. This is one of those gimmies. I don't understand. Gimme holes, you got a body. I don't understand this hole. Yeah, 485 feet, pole three for the guys. This is this is a hole. It's, I don't know if it's is it even possible to do. I mean, I saw Calvin try to go. I mean, the only way I think you can get it is like 
low screaming, not high. You're not getting there high. But you go like like low with that pink, flex, that pink bike on went? Yes. Flex through there and then skip off. That's I saw, insane. I saw him do it and he came up short. And if anyone's going to go like hit low ceiling far, it's Calvin. It's him. So this is, this is a great question for you guys in the comments. Let me know. A lot of people hate it when I'm negative. I feel like I've been very positive all seven holes. I would love to hear why people think this is a good hole. That's what I would love. Do people I, think it's a good hole? Huh? Do people think it's a good hole? Well, every time I say there's a hole that's bad, well, that's, people get pissed out. You were saying me. that hole is great. I, I just think, think we gotta keep hole. it hundred percent. We gotta keep it hundred out here. I just want to know why this is a good hole. Up. I think it's probably a great FPO hole. Like, let's go back there. It's a good FPO hole. Let's go back there and make it a par four. That'd be a sick hole. And that'd be a really sick hole. Like, have us throw out of a tunnel back there, and then you have like, I love that. But this, I okay. See, it's just, it's just a little weepo shot. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can go like super straight, low and try to get up through the gap. I'm just gonna play like the high and like kind of fade off that tree and then get out to the left. Um, is it, how difficult is it to go too far left? Very hard. Okay. But like, I'm also not doing like, a power shot. I'm just kind of like, you'll see. It's just kind of like a touch shot. Wait. Well, that showed me a lot. The thing is though, that's a par. That's still a par, even though I shanked it right. Oh, you're going low. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Is that not good? I mean, is it easier to go high probably? Well, I miss, when I look at it, the gap's just way bigger. I like that. So like, I the like only it. reason I don't like going low, I think you can hit that 95% of the time, but like, what if you somehow clip this bush here? That'd be bad. That'd be really bad. I, I definitely need to see what it looks like up there. I mean, I played this hole two days ago, but I don't, I don't remember the landing zone. Like that. That's all I want to do. Oh, okay. And even if it gets into that tree, it's whatever. It's so open left. That's fine. And again, even if it hits the tree and drops, you're fine. So now here, like even if you hit this tree, now you just have to execute. Now you just have to execute like a little shot. Executional. Trying to make it. Trying to make it. Hmm. Yeah, so just let us know in the comments. I'm being positive. I love this course, but I feel I feel like it's fair to talk about course design every once in a while. And I'm just curious why people think a hole like this is awesome. I am with you. For pros. For pros. Yes, 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 yes. For pros. For pros. Thank you. This is also a hole you can kind of land a little short and skip off that road. That's a Brody do on his false one. Yeah. I think that's don't the, want to go the, long. the play is definitely coming in with like hyzer, so you definitely get the skip. I mean, I would say like it could be an epic too, because you can go power hyzer wide and like land there. Get a and long then part. have like a 60 footer. A scary jump putt to go for though. But it's also a scary behind. initial throw too. So you won't be seeing me do that. Unless you come out at 8.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it hole number nine. Final hole here on the front nine out at Milo West. Play 689. I think majority, majority of the time I think we're going to get a headwind. I think this is like the, the typical wind. So... It's Not a whole lot of wind out here. I feel like just with all the trees, the Pacific Northwest isn't super windy. The trick, like that. The trick also cold. is like, like they've, they pulled the OB in tight. It used to be street, uh. but now they've pulled it into the tall grass. I think because the hole's so short, the play is to miss right. Because even though you might pinch yourself off, you're going to be only like 250, 300 out. So you, you still, still should be able to like spike. Forehand. The worst shot clearly is... Don't go below. So you're going on big power walk flippy? I'm going like flat. Like this isn't like super flippy, but like it will turn right. Okay. And it might turn too much. It might not get as much distance, but I'm okay. It's only 689. So like even if I only throw 450, I've got... I'm still trying to get the albatross. So I'm going for it. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. That might be too much though. 
See, but I still, uh, yeah, that's way too much. I, I How can't. flippy is that? <laughs> it's getting flippy. That's flippy, but with this wind, it's just not, it's not the right disc. Yeah. That's the mistake, though. That's OB. I threw that with the same line as the other bit. Maybe this is maybe this is usable. Is there a Mando or something? Not bad. No, no Mando. Why not you, just, you, you like this? Why not just pick Heisel? I'm gonna try it. I just don't think you'll get the distance because you gotta throw it so wide. Yeah. Okay. I gotta think you can get that as far as the ones that as he taunt too much. Hey man, listen. Well that's pretty wide and high. Yeah, it's a flippy disc. I I'm gonna go through the gap, I think. Yeah, like that's so short. Is that OB? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. But I mean, I, I hung that tree way taller than I needed to. I think you just gotta man up and throw a shot. That's a shot. Hold. Hold. If you're far enough out there, there's no OB. Hold. That's nice. not OB. Because it does a little, it does a little it cut in. Left, yeah. yeah. Just go wider. It's a simple hydro. I was just saying, my wide green one was like, I'm 280 out. I don't hate that. It's a pretty safe play. And that was like really flippy. It's a pretty safe play. Here's the thing, too. Let's say you go, let's say you go big distance shot, like y'all, one of y'all fold, fifth, one of them, you know, behind this tree. Well, let's find and you're out. You're safe. Let's, let's walk up here. Let's find out. Come on. Time. Where'll this end up? Right here. Yeah, so this is a trash, that's a trash spot to be. I mean, it's not great. You don't want to be behind this tree if you go high. Right. It's not great, but I just made an eagle. Oh. Too bad it's not an albatross. It's not great, but I just made an eagle. No. Oh. It's not great, but I just made an eagle. Don't do it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Dang. That would have been so good. Well, there you have it, folks. Front nine. Come over here. Let's let's show the let's show this off. This is like one of the cooler maybe logos. One of the coolest basket wraps. I mean, the basket wrap. I didn't even realize all the tiny beavers too. Sweet, man. The but to this is sick. I also didn't realize that this is the state of Oregon. The shape. It works a little bit better on. Where was it? Was that? No, that's it. Was it? No, the one that we saw wasn't as wide. So it looks more like Oregon. Well, but no, it's just it's the beaver. Just the beaver. Oh, it's just the beaver. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just the so beaver. So we're like right there, guys. We're like right by his little eagle. Yeah, that's pretty dope. But well, there you have it. That, that right there, that, that's Mountain Hood, the eye. That's pretty cool. That is actually fine. Th is that the huge mountain I've seen? One yeah. of them. That mountain is massive. Isn't that sweet? That is a sick mountain. It's a cool place um, to be. So yeah, we obviously asked you a lot of questions. So if you haven't taken the time to leave your answers down below, let us know. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Back nine coming soon. Yes. Ezra's channel, go over there. Fifty thousand dollar get. <laughs> Fifty. <laughs> Fifty thousand subscriber Guys, giveaway. We're like we're less than four thousand away. We're we're so close. So close. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Keep slinging them discs. Only four? Yeah. Damn, you've been getting the crap. I know. It was five thousand last class.